it sort of meant more for people in rural, remote areas, places with known water quality issues. It's meant for them to be able to have some confidence in the water they're drinking. Do you remember what you were doing back in grade 11? For one Winnipeg student, he can say he's making it easier to make sure water is safe to drink. Kirthin Kamala Krishnamurthy came up with a project that allows users to test water using their smartphone. What it's doing is it's using an algorithm that's running on the back end to look at that picture that you took of the water and it's breaking it down, seeing whether it sees any bacteria that it recognizes and it's identifying that bacteria and cataloging it with its what it knows and it's telling you whether that bacteria that it sees is safe to drink or not. The grade 11 Fort Richmond collegiate student is already making a splash with his idea internationally. He's coming off the heels of competing in two major science fair competitions in May. One in Singapore, the other being the International Science and Engineering Fair where he was one of eight Canadians chosen to represent the country. Entry. For me, the favorite part of that competition was not the competing, although that was fun to do as well. It was meeting everyone because everyone there is has the similar interest in you. They're in science. They, they're looking to learn what you're doing. You're looking to what, learn what they're doing. While it's no surprise that Kirthin's fascination with science did not develop overnight, it was surrounded by the right support system. When kids are young, uh, we need to give them or expose them to various things, whether it is science, music, or in, you know, arts, anything can be. We, we need to provide them the opportunities for them to test themselves. Basically everything my parents have been a part of, and even just outside of the science fairs, they help with a lot of stuff because uh, these science fairs really shifted a bunch of things, so they've been helping me get back on track. and sort of it, it absolutely essential. My parents have been awesome this entire process. While the app itself is not available to be downloaded just yet, he hopes one day it will be a useful tool. I wouldn't want people being able to use it before I'm confident in it, uh, preventing false positives, false negatives, those kind of things. In Winnipeg, Edward Jan, City News.